today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed acorn squash. Um, what I did was I took three acorn squash and I cut them in half and then I scooped the seeds out and now I have them in a 375 degree oven. Um, I'm going to cook them for about an hour. Um, what I did was I sprinkled salt and pepper and a little bit of olive oil on the inside of the squash. Then I flipped them over to where like the rind, like the outside was up and the cut side was down on a parchment lined baking sheet. And so I have them going right now. In my skillet I have a pound of Italian sausage and a pound of ground beef. You could use honestly whatever kind of meat you would like. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and brown this up, get it cooked through. I'm going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. meat is just almost cooked through. What I'm going to do is shred up a carrot into this. The reason why I'm going to shred it up um, is because I want it to cook and I feel like if it's smaller it'll cook through. Plus um, if your kids don't really love vegetables, chances are they won't know that they're in there. I do not have any problem at all getting my kids to eat, so, eat vegetables. So this isn't really necessary for me, but yeah, it's a good tip if you want to get a little bit of extra veggies in there um, that your kids won't necessarily notice. So I'm just going to go ahead and shred up a carrot, two, three, however many you think you would want in there. And then I'm going to stir it in. And now I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes. I just took the um, acorn squash out of the oven and what I'm going to do is see if I can flip these over. Cut side up. They should be done. Yeah, those are done. So now what I'm going to do is take my meat mixture and I'm going to just put some in each of the squash. Stuff them as full as you would like. So now what I'm going to do is shred up some white cheddar. Um, you could probably use any type of cheese you would like, but I'm going to just go ahead and use this. And I'm going to go ahead and top them with some cheese. I'm going to leave one without cheese just because that's preferred. Now that I have my cheese on top, I'm going to throw these back in my 375 degree oven um, just until the cheese is melted on top and everything looks hot and delicious. Um, it'll probably only take like maybe 10-15 minutes if that long. And I'm going to serve this with rice. Um, you could probably serve it really with like on its own you could serve it you could put the rice in with the mixture like cook the rice and then mix it in that would be really good as well 